What's up? Welcome to Wanna to Play. Today we are playing the Super Mario Brothers Power-Up Card three Game. Three to eight players. We are not playing the Super Mario Brothers Card Game. Hello, welcome to Wanna to Play. Hello. Who, who are you? I'm your imaginary friend. Oh. Well, we are going to play Super Mario Brothers Power-Up Card Game. We're going to see how this goes. Oh, Ooh. there are diagrams in here. I don't know what... Oh, mm. no. Do you like Super Nintendo? I do. Do you know what Super Nintendo is? Do you know what Super Nintendo uh, is? I have like no Nintendo experience whatsoever. Right. Super NES, oh yeah. Object of the game, the game is played in rounds. Collect a trade and modify level cards to avoid ending each round with the lowest level value. The player with the lowest level value loses one extra life token. The last player with extra life tokens at the end of the game wins. I like that the inside of the box is super decorated. Oh, that's oh, cute. That's fun. I like that. Because that looks just like the game. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Mm -hmm. All right, so you have level cards, you have cards. Our bags split open, so our levels, oh. our, our lives are spilling out without having opened the bag, which is a terrifying metaphor for life. Shuffle both decks of cards each player gets. Both cards, decks, decks of cards together. So we have a pile that's 30 question mark cards, the box yeah. cards. And then we have 52 that are level cards. Okay. This says... Shuffle both decks of cards. I don't know if that means together or... No, I think it's that you shuffle, shuffle them. Shuffle the individual decks. Each player gets four life tokens okay. and um, uh, one of the special box cards. Okay. Step one, deal levels, page five. Okay, so we're going to go in order. Oldest player deals first. That would be me. Dealer deals one level card to each player face down. Players peak at their level value. So I think the first round we're going to play all together and look at all, like, go, okay, this is how this is going to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do the walkthrough version. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do, like, one round of walkthrough. We'll reshuffle everything, and then we'll go again. So... Okay. This is the fake round? Yes, this is the fake round. So each of us gets one of these. Dealer deals one level card to each player face down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so then now we, we get... get one of these. Okay. Okay. Players dealt a castle card to reveal it immediately and draw a question card. They cannot have a, a, a I'm going to call it the, the surprise box. Surprise box cards played on them or lose this round. Okay, so we okay. can look. So you look at your level card. If you have a castle, you have to let us know. Okay. The goal of each round is to not be the player with the lowest level. In order to avoid revealing the lowest level, players must decide whether to risk trading, car, trading a card with their player to the left or keeping the card they were dealt. At the end of each round, the player with the lowest level loses one life token. Each round starts and ends with the dealer. So theoretically that's you. Yeah. Okay. Trading cards begins with the player to the dealer's left, Katie. Mm -hmm. Katie has, okay, this is the example. Mm -hmm. Katie has the coin times two and decides to trade with, no, Irene has the coin times two and decides to trade with Katie, player two. Player two cannot refuse to trade and must give player one their level card. Since players can only trade with the player to their immediate left, player number two, Katie, is forced to keep the card he or she was traded because three revealed a castle and cannot be traded. with. So these are the different examples of how this all works. Okay. Three has a castle card and cannot lose this round. Four has eight to, uh, tokens. Times eight. Um, and decides to keep the card. Dealer first reveals his card and then decides whether to keep or discard it and trade it to the top of the level deck. Dealer now has times four and wants to trade it. He must re first reveal his card, then discard it and draw and reveal the top of a what? So if you have, if you trade it and you still have a crap card, you can try going, well, I got a crap card. I'm going to trade in for whatever's on the top of the deck and hope that whatever's on the top of the deck is better. So it's a round of trading and then a round of swapping out with the top card of the deck. I think. The dealer trades with the top level. So the dealer is the only one that can do that. Oh, uh, okay. Reveal and modify. After trading with the deck. Okay, so let's play, let's play this round really quick. So you go first. Okay. And you can look at your card. And you either keep it or you make Do we want to flip them over so that way we can just like play one round walk through walk through what yeah we'll do that so flip everything over just so that way we see i don't know okay. what's in this box all right so based so, on like what you have right now 
you can either keep this card, which is six coins, or you can trade with Katie. Theoretically, you don't, you don't know, know what I, I what she has. Right. Um, let me keep this for now. Okay. Okay. And then Katie, and then it goes to Katie, and Katie can either trade with me or go on to keep her card. Um, at five, I probably would have just stood and okay. kept it, not knowing that you had a better card. Because I, I have 11. Right. Um, so then at that point, it goes best. So I, so I would also say, I'm going to keep my card. And then Irene would say, well, either you like your card and want to stay there, or you decided, you know what, never mind. I want to trade with the top level card. Mm -hmm. So you could either, so you could gamble and say, okay, but I want the top card of the deck. Yeah. Let me try so that. So you're going to, I'll put that card here. here. And then you can't, you have to reveal it oh, when you right, put it down right, according, sorry. according to the rules. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So in this case, I got a seven. So you did better. Right. Yeah. Um, after trading with the deck dealer now has whatever card they have. Right. All other players reveal their level cards. Um, all players reveal that reveal a matching level to another player's card draw the prize card. Now players have multiple chance to play, have the chance to play their surprise box cards from their hand to modify level card values and or generate other effects. So now that we've all revealed our cards, yep, yep. Um, multiple surprise box cards can be played and players may play cards in any order, but card effects do not stack and previous question surprise box cards that might have been played on the level card no longer apply. Only the most recent surprise box card played on each player's level card is active and affects their level value. So the example that's given is player two has negative two on dealer. Dealer, so I can play them on top of other people's, I think. Dealer has to subtract two. So yes, so you can play it on other people's cards. So you can be like, so you had a negative something and you'd play it on mm -hmm. that other person. Oh, yes. okay. Um, dealer does not have a question mark card, a uh, surprise box card. It just says question card uh, that would increase his level, um, which means that you are stuck at whatever level you were at. This is super complicated. This is w way too complicated. Choose not a question card. I found the cat. I feel like once we get playing. Okay. After all players have finished, players have finished playing any of their question cards. Final level values are compared. All players with the lowest level must lose one extra life token. Dealer has the lowest level and loses this round, discarding one token. At the end of each round, revealed level and question cards are are placed in the discard pile and deal passes to the left. Do not shuffle cards until each de uh, until each deck runs out. Then shuffle discard card. Shuffle the discards to, to form a new deck. Okay. And it goes until some until there's one man standing. Right. Once you run out of life tokens, you're yeah. Out of life mm -hmm. tokens. Okay. The new round starts with one as the dealer, so you would start with those, so everyone gets. Everybody to be rotates dealer. being dealer. Okay. Okay. So so right now we'd flip the little boxes, and I could either use it on myself or use it on someone mm -hmm. else. Right. And I just don't know if it's like one at a time, like if this continues in the circle, so Irene would start, or if it's just. I think so. Now players have the chance to play this, and level cards generate other effects. Multiple cards played. Players may play cards in the order. So yeah, I guess it's just like whoever wants to go goes. Okay. It doesn't really. So say. like I would play this. I have a trampoline card. Trade your level with the topmost card from the deck. So that I've decided to play. Oh, and I played up from a five to a three. <laughs> Man, fucking fantastic. Okay, uh, so for me, for example, I have a buzzy beetle, which I could give to you to knock you down four points. Okay, and then I would play my superstar and bump myself up four points. So you're right, right so back, to, be where back to where you started. Okay, okay. So I would have based on lost. this round, this one would have won. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I feel like we've got That's it now. Not too bad. So we'll play. We'll play a couple rounds of this. So this okay. is not as complicated. So okay. So then I'll put that there. there. Those there. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. So, so now I'm dealer, everyone, or do we want to just start with? We'll start with Irene again. So there's one, two, three. Irene decides first if she wants to trade or if she wants to hold on to her card. Um, I'm going to trade with Katie. Okay. There you go. Okay. I'm going to trade with Eric. Okay. I'm going to trade with Irene. <laughs> I don't know what I have. Yeah, I'm going to trade with Irene. <laughs> 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 
Now, Irene, you can trade with the top level card. You have to reveal your card if you want to trade, and then you can trade it with the top level card. You know, given what I got, I'm going to take oh, a What chance. do you have? I got a one. one. Oh. So there's only nowhere to go but up. So let me see here. Okay. Okay. So then at this point, we... Everybody reveals. Reveals our card. Okay. So okay. we did the trading. We reveal. Okay. Um, and then at this point, we can look at our other cards. Okay. Okay, hang on, because mine says play before trading levels. <laughs> oh, boy. This doesn't do me any good because it's supposed to be one that you use before you trade. So I guess we have to look at those cards. Yeah, go ahead. No, I, I, I'm not saying you, like, you're, no, I'm saying, I'm like, this is super confusing. My problem with a lot of these new this games This example is picture shows up play at any time, so, like. Hmm. Step one, deal levels. Step two, keep or trade. Step three, reveal and modify. Step four, score. Step five, how to win. Because this is also saying you can play multiple of these, so I'm trying to figure out how you how end do up you with multiples. you get multiples, multiples yeah. You don't have to play this. Okay, so you can hold You can on hold here. it to the next turn. So like I have one so I could have looked at it in advance. Okay, so yeah, like so in that example where three had a castle card, it says they chose not to play the box card because they have a castle and can't lose the round. So you can hold on to these ah, okay. and okay. use it later. That's why there's not as many of them. Okay. You get one on each turn, but you can stash them. Okay. 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 That, that was the thing that wasn't making any sense. You traded in with the deck. Yes. I'm, I, I, there's nothing I can do because my box is a play before trading. Mm. So it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what are you doing, Eric? I'm just confused as to how this works and what order. Like, is it just I, I think whenever? it's supposed to be the same. Okay. I thought it was the same order. So then, does that mean Irene goes first then, technically, or like she went? Okay. She traded in with the deck. Then it was my turn. I chose not to do anything, which rotates back to you. Okay. So then I multiply this by ten. Okay. You already okay. I'm I'm trying to still figure this yeah. out. Yeah. Well, like, I was just I was is... just saying you've already won the round, so and the goal of the round is to just not be the lowest. So you're so not if you using your hold card. On to, I, I can't not be... you, her. No. Not, I, okay, I so then that's so then I won okay. And I lost a life. Jesus, okay. <laughs> Let's do this again. No, and I keep this. Okay, there we go. So everyone gets one more of these. Yes. Okay. And then... everyone gets one more of those, and then Katie's the dealer for this round, so she starts as we all grab our own cards. Eh. Yep, it's all okay. good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have decided to not trade. So now it's Eric's turn to make a choice. Yes. Okay, I'm going to trade with Irene. Okay. 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 Um, I'm going to trade with Katie. Like that. I'm gonna trade with the deck because I got a six on that last trade, which brought me up to a ten. So that was okay. a good choice. And I have eight. I have nine. Okay. So now Eric <clears throat> chooses what he does. So do I choose what I do and then you do, or do you choose what you do, or do you end? This is where I'm confused, like, because of the rotation of play and everything, like... Each round starts and ends with the dealer. So then my other question being... <clears throat> play continues in the circle. Okay, so technically the dealer would go first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now my question is, with... Do these cards cancel each other out okay so yes. so from the example round we're using the negative four and the plus four so this would bring if i was like at 10 and this brought me down to a negative you know a negative four that would bring me to six yeah if i put this on top of it would it bring me back to 10 or would we ignore that card and bring me to 14 i believe that's where i'm confused <clears throat> I believe that it, yeah, I think, I think it just brings you back to the 10. I think it counteracts it. That's what I was thinking too. Because it was saying that two cards cannot be played at the same time. I'm just very, the reason I'm asking is I have a card and I don't know if it is like this card. Hey, oh, goes I'm, first okay, and then... Hang on. 
Now players have the chance to play the box cards from their hand, modify the level card values, and or generate other effects. Multiple box cards may be played, and players may play cards in any order, but card effects do not stack, and previous box cards that may have been played no longer apply. So then so this would bring it up to 14. Correct. Okay. Okay. Only the most recent box card played on each player's level is active and affects their level value. Gotcha. Leave it to Nintendo to make things complicated. Okay. So you are <laughs> choosing if you are playing a box card. Okay. I will just, I will play that on yours. So I gave her... It makes it zero. Makes it zero. Okay. We're going to just see how this goes for the rest okay. of the round. Okay, so then it's Irene's turn to figure out what she wants to do. Okay, I'm going to... And I... Um, I'm going to give this to you. So with this, you lose a life token. Ugh. But then I can't play another card because my round my round of the turn is over. This is where, yeah. Hang on. No, you're fine. I know, this is like, this is giving me a headache. So, like, I have a card that I could play over top of that, but, like, are we still playing in, like, the circle? Like, how does this... Mm -hmm. Once I play that one card and say, okay, my Once turn Once you is play over. that one card, that's it. Okay. You are done. It goes okay. all the way back around to the dealer, and the dealer's last thing is if they have something that would affect, that would bring their level, level back, back up. up. That's okay. their last thing they can do. Okay. Play. Okay. So I put my thing yeah. in. So you I'm... did your thing. She did her thing. Yep. Which means the last thing I can do is if I had something to bring my level back up, I would use it. I do not, so I am now the lowest player, which means I lose a life, and I'm not going to be in this game very long. <laughs> <laughs> so now we discard anything that's been used. Yes. So okay. you keep your boxes that you didn't use. Okay. And now Eric is dealer. Okay, I'm trading with Irene. Okay. Can we... What? If your card says you can use it at any time, you can use it at any time. Okay. So in that case, I'm going to use this to prevent you from trading. Fine. I'm, I'm going to keep mine, thank you. Fine. Fine. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Hmm. Um, it's now my turn, mm -hmm. and I'm going to play Lakitu. I can look at the next player's face down level and play before trading the level. So I look at your card and decide if I want to trade it. The answer is yes, I do. That's rude. <laughs> and now you have the option. You have to reveal, and then you. Oh yeah, I'm gonna reveal. <laughs> trade I'm gonna the trade. Deck. Okay, that didn't do too much, but okay. Three. So now we all reveal. Now you and I have the. Did you have that from the beginning? You had to. Re you had to reveal that at the beginning. Oh, if you so had that from the beginning, you had to reveal shoot, it from the beginning. I'm sorry. Play your Delta Castle card. Reveal it immediately okay. and draw a box. Oh, okay. Pick up a box. Okay. And you cannot have. We can't play cards on you, and you can't lose the round. Okay. Try again. <laughs> so, like, that didn't affect the rest of this round. No. That just affected, like... Also, you just... I gave her back the one card that she played. No, she played that card. I played oh, this Oh, you played card. that one, yes. Oh, okay. So now you and I so it's up have to the YouTube. same level, which uh -huh. means we both get a new card. A new this card? A new this card. Yep. One and four both reveal the same level and draw a block immediately. Okay. Right. Irene doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I have the chance to try to do something. I'm going to play trampoline and I'm going to trade with the topmost level and see if I can't pull something higher. I sure did. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then that's the end of your turn? Yes. So the only thing you can do is something that increases your level value. Okay. So I'm going to play that goal pull and bring that up to 30, which multiplies my three, but my three by 10. Okay. Which means I lost the round again? I hate this game. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm the one making it all make sense and I still hate it. Now Irene is dealer. Okay. Can we talk about Irene has all of her lives still? Like, yeah. What is this? Okay. You gave me an extra one. So then Irene decides first because she does. Correct. Okay. And if you have a castle, you have to reveal it. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep mine. She is standing. Yes. All right. Now it's my turn, except I'm going to play Warp Pipe, in which I can trade with any other player. Mm. So instead of trading with Eric, I'm trading with you. Okay. That's cool. Darn it. <laughs> and he decides if he wants to trade with... 
with Irene. Irene. I'm going to stay. I, I'm in, I'm in so you're going with the fact that I traded. Yeah, and and then her reaction, yeah. <laughs> you can either trade, you have, can either you, keep your card or you can trade it with the You have to reveal the and you either trade it or, yeah, I want to reveal she had and one. trade. So, okay. And you have to reveal now. Okay, now the I got the card of the round. Well, okay. that's, that's cheating. You can't have more than that. What? <laughs> so now we reveal. Uh-huh. 11 and 4. Oh, I'm okay. Doing real good. So then I get to choose what I'm doing with my life. <clears throat> and I'm going to. I'm going to get violent and I'm going to play a green shell on you and you have to discard one of your blocks. Ah. Well, I'll just discard that one. Okay. There you go. No, it brought <laughs> me to a 10. <laughs> Actually, now, if I do that. Then you guys each have to pick up another card, right? No, the, the, the modifiers. Oh, the it doesn't, modifier doesn't count. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to leave it there and okay. we're going to see how this plays okay. out because what happens if there's a tie at the end of the round? Okay. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to use this one, add okay. two to any player. It, or yeah. level. Yeah, add player. it to you. So now she has 14. Yes. That's right. <laughs> so now you are the person with the lowest. You lose a life. Okay. And I didn't lose that round for once. Bye. It's... Helping with repetition, but it's still like. I think we're slowly getting the hang of it. This is rough. Oh, castle. Okay. Oh. See? Well, at least I remember <laughs> so, this time. <laughs> good. Okay, don't push it so far up. Sorry. So I am dealer, so I either trade or stand, and I'm trading with you, Eric. Okay. And you can't trade with Irene. Oh, I had something I could have played. Oh, well. So yeah, you can't trade with Irene, so now you and I flip. I'm gonna stand. You can play anything you want to play. Nothing, because nothing's gonna help me at this point. Okay. So. so then I stand. Oh, you also were supposed to, did you pick up a box card when you flipped your castle? Because you were supposed to do that. Got it. There you go. No, I keep these. I haven't played these. What am I doing with my life? Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Castle again. What? <laughs> what? Lord, what? I don't know. Okay. Or no, 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 he can't trade because the next player to his left is Irene and you can't do that. So you can't trade. So then I choose if I'm trading with you okay. and I'm standing. So now you reveal and decide if you want to trade with the deck got or not. It. Yeah, I got two. So I'm going to trade with the deck. I got seven. So okay. that's... Okay. And then I reveal that I have an 11. Okay. So now I get to choose if I do anything. Because Irene does nothing. And I'm going to stand. You have one last shot. Yeah, I have nothing. I'm going to play all my cards that I have. So I'm going to use that to bump myself up to an eight. I can yep. play multiple cards um, or I can just play one. I figure I might as well ask as, as this is the end yeah, of my I game. Yeah, I think it, it appears dealer, dealer can only play. This says dealer does not have a block card that would increase his level. So that's, yeah, per, the that's, only, per, that's per the example. I know, I know. But what I'm saying is it looks like the dealer can only... My problem with these directions is that they mix the directions in with the sample play. So instead of going, these are the directions, all of the directions for this part of the round. This is the sample play. This is the diagram. They mix everything all together and it just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming I can play multiple cards because why would I have all these cards in my hand? I, I, I'm also starting to think that we weren't supposed to have been picking up block cards at the beginning of each round. That was never made clear because they never made it clear what went past that point. I think it was supposed to be you're only supposed to pick up block cards after that if you have like a castle or something or the double le level. So I think we all have too many of these is the other part of the problem. But it's not made clear in the directions. It literally doesn't say. None of this says. This is a problem if I can't play this game. Honest to God, I can't. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is to your question. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We make up our own rules. We're going to make up our own rules. So that got brought you down to a, a nine. nine. I have an eight. I'm out anyway. That's my okay. end of my game. I'm done. So now it's Between your turn. The two of us. Keep keep picking up these cards. Let's let's just stay consistent with what we've done. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, because it said okay. once this deck is empty, you shuffle and bring it back. Yeah. I don't think we're supposed to have this many options in our hand. Is what it is. You know. Maybe they should have had better directions. Okay. So you decide if you. Trade or stand? Uh, let me trade with you. Okay. And then I decide if I trade or stand. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
This is why, obviously, it needed mm. more than two mm -hmm. players. Yeah. Now you decide if you reveal and decide if you trade with the deck. Um, I'll stay. Might as well. Okay. Um, I reveal. Let me see. So I'm going to use this. So I'm gonna, that's going to bring me to a seven. Okay. Uh, no, it doesn't. Ooh. Then that's the end of the round. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you lose a life. Yes. And I stand. Uh, same. Okay. I reveal and I'm keeping my card. Okay. I'm going to keep mine. Uh, and I can do whatever to you. Uh, yes. I think it's supposed to be that you're supposed to go first at this point. Dealer, dealer's choice is whether or not to switch with and the deck. And the person after the dealer goes? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to end this real quick. Because I'm going to take that last slide from you. Oh, jeez. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I read one. I thought you could trade with any other player. And I was like, well, that does nothing for me right <laughs> now. Um, yeah, this I'm not a fan of this game. Yes. I would be a fan of this game if I actually understood how yeah, to play it. Yeah, but the directions it. are awful. That's part of my problem. I, I, so I, I, I thought, oh, this is going to be way complicated. And it's like, it's really not terribly complicated, but it just, it's not clear with like situations. Like, can I do this? And it's like, I don't yeah. know. Well, can I do this? I don't know. I feel like this is like a work operating guide. Like, yeah, it gives you guidelines of like how to do this thing, but it's like, okay, but what about in this example? Like, is this, uh, figure it out. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. yeah. So here's our rating scale for Super Mario Brothers power up car game. Sometimes there are too many directions in games and sometimes there are not enough, not enough. directions. And I feel like this is like this weird where some things are over described and then there's like, uh, what do I do here? I don't know. I feel like if we tried this one more time and tried to figure out how we, it's almost like Monopoly or Uno where you have your own house rules, like. Well, I mean, it's made by USA Opoly, so. Yeah. I'm gonna blame them for that. Yeah, I think we got like 75% of it. I also down. didn't ever grow up playing Mario, so there's no nostalgia value to this for me. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I played it a lot as a kid, so it, it kind of, it, it, it makes sense given to... You're like recognizing the... Recognizing but you also how it don't works. need, yeah. but you also don't need the characters to play the game. No, right. This is just, look at the branding that we put on here. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Because you could put literally any characters on this game. people are buy it for the branding. Uh-huh. Yeah, but you could use like different, um, uh... Phantoms. You could play this with like Supernatural or Danny Phantom or like yeah. anything really. Yeah. Like yeah. you could All put right. any characters on here. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. So that was a that. disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. You're the ghost. Yep. Okay. I decided to haunt you today. Is that okay? Okay. Whatever. Okay. That's okay. fine. I'm stuck on the table. <laughs>